Hey Indiegoers, I'm currently right now at Bukit Timah Market and Food Center and I'm heading over to Bukit Timah Shopping Center. So we'll be going via two different routes, via the underground pass or via the streets. So first of all, I'll be going via the underground pass and we will be comparing between the theoretical calculation and also the actual calculation using the speedometer app on my phone and also my watch. Let's Indie go! Indigo! That was a long walk. So before I show you the answer for the one that I've walked, right? I'll be showing you the theoretical answer on how we calculated it. So first of all, as we know, distance is equals to speed times time. So I'll be writing it down. Time equals to distance divided by speed. Okay, and then I'm going to equal. So we have already measured the distance using Google Map, which is 400 meter, and it's over 5,000 for the speed. And the SI unit is in hours, so it's equals to 0.08 hours, which if you were to convert, is 4.8 minutes. So this is the time taken for the tunnel. So now let's calculate the time taken for the streets. So first of all, we have 500 as the distance over 5,000 and the SI unit is hour. And once we figure out it's 0.1 hours and we, if you were to convert it, that would be six minutes. So it takes 6 minutes to walk the streets. So now I'll be revealing the actual answer that we've walked. So the answer is down below. So if we were to compare it, why is there a significant difference between the theoretical and actual answers? Well, if we were to look at the results, we notice that the actual time measured is longer than the theoretical answer calculated for both routes. This is because some of the external factors that affected the time I took to walk, which were not considered when calculating the theoretical answers. For example, my route via the underpass involved travelling on escalators, which slowed down my walking pace. Moreover, since it was raining, I had to walk through sheltered pathways that also could have contributed to the extra time taken. As for the street route, there were many pedestrian crossings along the way, at which I had to wait a long time for the green signal to appear. Therefore, it was due to factors like these that the theoretical answer calculated did not match exactly with my actual walking results. And that's how you know which is the shortest way and the fastest way to get over to Bukit Timah Shopping Centre. And that's all from me. Bye! Hey Nigoers, I'm currently right now at Bukit Timah Shopping Centre. Eh, uh, Bukit Timah. Uh.